Hey guys, today we're going Japanese. Sasuke! Hey guys, so today we're looking at the History Archive Collection, which is an OCG set. Um, it's my first OCG set I've ever opened as well. Um, very excited, been waiting several weeks for this one to come through. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing to get into it. Um, obviously, I don't read Japanese, so I'm going um, to guess the cards best I can, but when you guys watch it back, I will put the cards up on the screen for you, so at least you know what they are, even if I don't. So cards of note in this pack, uh, you've got Dark Magician, you've got, I want to say, Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, White Dragon as well. The art for the Red Eyes and the Blue Eyes are the ones that have been released in the 2022 tin, actually. So we were we were just late getting them as it is with OCG in general. So yeah, let's get into it and see what we got. Okay, so I think you get 15 booster packs in here. So that's, um, I think they're four cards per booster pack. Um, and yeah, you get 15 booster packs. Um, I know what we call Starlight Rarities. Um, I don't know if they're like Prismatic Secret Rare for the OCG, but you get them a lot more frequently, so I'm not sure what their super duper rare ones are. Um, but yeah, uh, as far as I know, they put a lot more effort into their foils um, than they do for the TCG. So I'm hoping, regardless of what we get, we should still see some cool cards at least as well. So there you go, OCG official. It's got the symbols. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I have no idea what that card is. I want to say it's a Madolchi one of some kind, maybe that particular archetype. But yeah, if you yeah, you can see it on the camera as well. So look, the the kind of like starlight parallel rare almost on their like basic cars as well. So um yeah, I'd love to tell you what's in each pack in terms of rarities, but I can't read it. So we're just gonna have to find out <laughs> by opening the pack. So yeah, don't know what that one is. Synchro, uh, not synchro, um pendulum card. That's that one. That's I was actually looking for this one. This is a let's see if I can find it. The Red Eyes Soul. So it's not Red Eyes Black Dragon. Obviously, it's an, a part of that archetype. But yeah, Red Eyes Soul. So that's, yeah, I mean, that's just a cool looking card regardless as well. I don't know if that's in the TCG yet. I've not seen it. Um, but yeah, that, that looks amazing. So, And then the last one says Blue Angel on it as well. But again, look, that's a, um, so it's got like the parallel rare. It's not all the way over this time. But it's on the hollow. But yeah, it's got like the parallel hollow on the actual art of the card as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Even the packs look cooler. They just look better quality than the TCG ones. So that's, I think that's a Synchro Storm one or whatever it's called. It's like a Synchron Racer, Synchron Racer, something like that. Um, yep, so that's the like parallel Starlight Rare almost. So Access Code, Talker. That's awesome. I didn't realize he was in this set. And it's in like the, the parallel Starlight Rare almost as well. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's really, really cool. Awesome. That's Synchro Dragon or Stardust Dragon of some sort, I believe. Yeah, that's Synchro Stardust Dragon, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's that's cool. That one looks like it's just like the equivalent of like a super rare as well. So yeah, not bad, not bad. And then that looks like Galaxy Photon Dragon there in the like, I suppose that looks like an ultra rare equivalent, that one. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Some pretty decent pulls already. So yeah, we carry on. Yeah, look, you can see on the pack there, look, Dark Magician Girl, that's what we want. That'd be the, the ultimate goal here, Dark Magician Girl, so. We have, boom, something. We have Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, man. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, again, this was one of the other cards that are kind of up there with like Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, and um, and Dark Magician Girl as well. Um, but yeah, it just looks amazing with this this hollow. Like I said, we don't get anything even really close to this in the TCG. We purely get um, like the Starlight Rares, which are like 0 0.5 per case or, or some ratio like that. So. Yeah, to, to get an OCG set and kind of just see some of these hollows that they put more effort into is, is brilliant. As I said, Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, uh, yeah, I can't, can't argue with that at all. That's, that's superb. And then that one, that is a... This is probably quite rare, but I've no idea what it is because that is different to the rest of them. Let's see if I can look at... Maybe? That might be Utopia, 39 Utopia, actually, an alternate art. If you look in... Yeah, I don't know if that is. That's like an ultimate rare. Like, look on that, man. It's, it's everywhere. That's that's amazing. That looks really, really cool. And then last but not least, don't know what that one is. Or well, even feels. I'm sorry, I'm going back to this one. It even feels different. Like, <laughs> so it's really odd. Um, and then yeah, I don't know what that one is. Not not particularly sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm being an idiot. Yeah, number thirty nine. Yeah, so that's definitely the Utopia one. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Really happy with that. I think that must be like a prismatic secret rare or an ultimate rare or something. I, yeah, I have no idea. So, I mean, yeah, we've got loads more packs to go yet. And um, 
yeah, we've already made some really, really good pulls. So yeah, dead happy with this. I will, I might do some more OCG sets in general um, on the channel because I just, like I said, with, with the hollow, the effort that they put into the hollows, um, they're always fun to open, even if I don't know what the cards are, to be honest. So yeah, I'm probably going to look at doing that. I, I am trying to find uh, a UK-based one that does the, the Japanese cards because of the import charges and stuff that you pay. Um, so by all means, if you guys know any, please put them in the comments for me because I would love to check them out and see if they're, they're any good. Um, yes, that's another like Starlight Parallel Rare almost. Not sure on that one. Maybe a Galaxy Eyes Dragon type one? Yeah, not sure. And then this one is... Oh, okay, this one's actually got English writing at the top. Let's have a look. So it's Battle battle Royal Mode Joining is this one. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, that's like an Ultra, but with the Parallel Hollow. So yeah, really, really cool. So what we got? So we got... Oh, actually, I was going to say, the other one that I really like in this set, which I did know about before we started this, um, is a Black Luster Soldier archetype one. Uh, it's called, like, Legendary Warrior or something, Black Luster Soldier. There's Link Karibo um, in the, uh, in the like, uh, Parallel Rare. Not sure what that one is, but again, that's in the Parallel Rare. So it looks like you get two of those, generally, per pack, so that's pretty good. We've got a Pendulum Monster of some description, and... That Madolchi one again as well. Okay. Is that a different rarity maybe to the one? Yeah, so I think so even the high even some of the less popular like less common cards, I think you can get in all the different rarities. So I don't know if that number 39 Utopia was like an ultimate rare, but he also comes in like the ultra rare equivalent and the parallel rare equivalent as well. I'm not yeah, not sure on that one. So we'll just keep opening them and find out. I know OCG isn't always as sought after, um, especially for us guys, but um I think getting some of those kind of ones graded and, and they might be worth something at least anyway. So that looks like Galaxy, uh, sorry, not Galaxy Eyes Dragon, like Galaxy Cypher or Photon Dragon, I think, in the in the parallel rare. So that's another one. Not sure on that one. Not sure on that one. And this, that's cool. Was it? It's the Blue Angel one again, but I think that, yeah, again, I think that's in a, a slightly different rarity. I don't know. Maybe this is their Prismatic Secret rare. I ain't got a clue. They just look, cool because they're shiny so all right yeah we, we move on that's fine but yeah in addition to this pack there is a i want to say it's a prismatic no premium rarity or something collection um that they're doing that they've done which is a premium gold so it's like equivalent of our maximum gold set so i'm going to try and get my hands on that one and see if that's any good as well uh that is chimera tech dragon i believe yeah that sounds right that ah, looks like a red eyes archetype so that's cool Galaxy Dragon as well, and then another Ultra Rare Pendulum. I think we've had that one already, so that's fine. Also, apologies if my camera has jumped around because the Wi-Fi isn't great here, so it keeps catching me up a little bit. So just do, you're not here for the me anyway, just look at the cards. Uh, right, so we have Starlight Parallel Thingy Majig again. That's, what's his name? Hot Red Dragon Archfiend or something of that ilk, I believe. That's cool, that's pretty cool. It's the Blue Angel one again. Yeah, so you can definitely get that. Yeah, look. Um, yeah, so you can get all of the cards by the look of it in all the different rarities. So this is just the equivalent of a super rare, and this one's like the Prismatic Secret or Ultra. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but it looks, looks dope. So, okay. And then the last one is a card. As always, if you guys don't mind, please like and subscribe because um, it really does help me out. Um, and again, if, if there's any sets that you want me to have a look at, I'm happy to try and get a hold of them because um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not against opening any of them really. So do let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see me open. That is, I want to say that's Rainbow Dragon, I think, that archetype. That's some sort of Stardust Dragon, I expect. Wake up your E-Hero. Okay, cool. I think he might actually be valuable because he's, well, he's Elemental Hero, so he's might even be playable but yeah all right wake up your e-hero very cool and then another uh, another ultra that one's a uh, rain v is it v rains or rains card um yeah looks like it's an ultra rare but even like even the writing looks like a bit more sparkly a bit more depth to it than just the uh the silver writing so okay we've got six more packs so i mean if we can get black luster red eyes black dragon blue eyes and not and or maybe dark magician girl then i'd be really happy with that but to be honest i've had some really decent pulls already so uh, i think that's a junk synchron card that one so yeah again that's the rainbow dragon but in a slightly different rarity super rare something and 
an ultra rare something as well. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, in terms of the cards, I'll put the cards up on the screen, their English version, so you know what they are, but only really for the ones that are of note, because um, otherwise it may take me a few years to edit. So, Oh, sweet. I didn't know this card was in it. Magician Souls. Okay, so that's in the like parallel rare as well. Oh, that's, that's cool. I just picked him, um, just pulled that out of Brothers of Legend, actually, in Secret Rare recently. So, yeah, very, very cool in, in my previous video. So... Yeah, awesome. Always good to get Wild the Magician archetype cards. Again, another parallel type rare. Um, not sure what that one is. Probably a Galaxy Dragon of some sort, this one. And yeah, Dunk Junk Synchron again, sorry. Yeah, so another Junk Synchron one. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so if you can see in the back here, actually, before we look at these cards, so this is the blue eyes from the new tin. Um, so that's the art that's in this one, um, in this collection for OCG. So yeah, they got, they got it first. Um, that looks like... Oh yes, yeah, so, uh well, the Utopia type cards, I think. Or Utopic, or whatever they're called. So yeah, don't know what that's cool. Uh Honest that's Elemental Hero Honest Neos or something, I believe. Um yeah, very cool card. Glad to get that in the uh, parallel rare as well. And the Wake Up Your E Hero. So yeah, again, this is so this is like the ultimate this must be the ultimate rare or something. I don't know if they're guaranteed per pack, but yeah, that's that looks amazing. Like that's really, really cool. And then again, yeah, we have by the look of it, Stardust uh, type dragon at the end. See if we can get one of the uh, the big hitters. Magician Souls again in the Starlight Parallel. Utopic dragon of some sort. Battle Royale mode joining. And that one. Yes, that one. <clears throat> okay, that one again. <laughs> uh, junk Synchron of some sort. Super Rare one again. And yeah, Synchro Stardust Dragon, or whatever it's called. Yeah, cool. All right, the last pack. The last, last pack. Um, like I said, if we can get one of the, the big hitters, that would be brilliant, because then it's, you know, one of the ones we recognize. But if not, it's been a great set anyway. Like, we've pulled some really, really cool cards, especially with all the different rarities. Let's see if we can get this out. There we go. Right, okay. Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon again. All right, that's cool. Would have liked another one, but it's cool to, to get him again anyway. Access Code Talker again in the Starlight Parallel as well. Also very cool. Ah, what else we got? Some sort of volcano. And the very last card is... Pendulum. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, well, the last pack wasn't amazing. Can't help it. But, as I said, we've got some really awesome cards here. Like I said, this, this Wake Up Your E Hero and where is he? The number 39 Utopia. I, yeah, I don't know what rarity that is. I'm going to have to find out. But that looks... It looks epic. Like, I, pre, I mean, on the camera, it still looks pretty cool. But yeah, in, in for, from my view, yeah, it's, it's even cooler. Like, let's take it out of the thing one more time. Look at it. Yeah, it's like, it looks like the equivalent of, like, ultimate rare for them. So, yeah, dead happy with that. Really, really cool. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe um, so that you can see my future videos and obviously some of my older ones. Um, but yeah, anything you want to say in the comments, if, what was your favourite card from the set, any sets that you want me to open, please let me know. So yeah, until next time.